guys doing? What are your plans for Valentine's Day? I am dying to know. Do you guys go out to dinner? Do you stay in? Do you watch romantic movies? Maybe you do an anti-romantic type of situation. I don't know, but I wore pink specifically for you guys. I even did pink makeup. Can you see? What do we think? It's all right. I don't love it. I'm not a big uh, bright eyes makeup and I did pink nails for you guys. Sorry for the long intro. So for those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who are not new here, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. But in today's video, I am sharing with you guys a review on my YSL college bag. I've had this bag for almost a year, about 10 months now. So I think I've had plenty of time to tell you guys my do's, my don'ts, my loves, my hates, um, whether I recommend this bag, wear and tear, etc. So if you guys want to see that, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so first up, I wanna show you guys a quick little overview. That way I can take this chain off and it's not making too much noise for you guys banging on the table. So here we have this beauty. Got it in the beautiful leather. I'm not sure what kind of leather this is. If I can find it, I will uh, tell you guys up on the screen, but I'm not sure what type of leather it is, but it is very durable. You can scratch it and it's not going to scratch. And it feels almost like, like it's not leather, but it is, I promise. And then it has the YSL symbol here with this detailing going down here. Can you guys see that or are my lights too bright? Hopefully you guys can see that. And then it's got a beautiful V shape here for the flap. It does have a back pocket back here and then the chevron print and a top handle here. You can fit your phone back here. Let's see, I brought my phone case out to show you guys. It does have the little ring on it and it does fit. Now I do recommend when you put this in here, there goes that chain I was telling you guys about. Put your hand over the little thing when you shove it in here and I will explain why later but it does fit in there perfectly fine even with a pop socket I usually have a pop socket on my phone and it will fit just fine with the pop socket as well so now that you guys have seen a quick little overview of the outside um, well let me show you the sides first a lot of people complain about these sides squishing in like that I kind of like it I think it gives the bag more of a slouchy edgy look and if you know me you know, I love a little bit of edge to every single one of my outfits. It just wouldn't be a Melissa outfit if I didn't throw in some type of edginess in there. But I like the little slouchiness right there. And then it does not have feet on the bottom. Okay, so now let me click, quickly take this chain off for you guys. Okay, so now that I have the chain off, I just wanna quickly show you guys what it looks like. It does have a leather break right here. It says, St. Laurent Paris stamp, stamped into the leather right there. It has the brush, brushed gold chain. It is a heavy chain um, or a, not a heavy chain. It is a substantial chain. It feels luxurious, but it's not too heavy. So it doesn't add too much weight to the bag, even though it is a thick, chunky chain, as you can see here. And then it has these little clips here where you can clip it onto your bag or take it off. So you can change your strap if you want to or carry a top handle without the strap if you want to as well. So now that I'm talking about this chain, I do wanna quickly mention that some of my metal is rubbing off on my metal. So some of the gold is rubbing off on each other. Um, that is, it's very, very hard to find. And honestly, guys, it's so hard to find. I'm not going to include it in a con, but I can foresee if you carry this bag every single day. Let me backtrack. I don't carry my bags every day. I do have several bags that I bounce between. So I think that if I were to carry this bag every single day, which I feel like most people do, correct me if you're wrong, if I'm wrong, but most people I feel buy one bag and they use it every day for months and months and months until they decide to buy a new bag. If that was you, if that's your case, I do think that there would be more wear and tear on the metal. Um, again, it's something I have to search for, so it's not, it's not apparent. It's not something, like if I was walking down the street, nobody's going to know that. Even if someone was like, let me see your bag and check it out. You still wouldn't know that. You would literally have to separate all the little links and find it. 
Okay, so let's give you a quick little overview of the inside of the bag. I am currently using this bag. I did decide to wear this bag for two weeks straight, which is not like me, just so I could show you guys or tell you guys all the details about this bag in case there was anything that I forgot, which I love this bag. Anyway, um, so inside you'll see I've been using it. So let's just quickly show you guys a quick little what's in my bag. Um, again, I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I get excited about these videos and I just bounce all around. So, but since we're here and since we've got the bag open, let's quickly show you what I have in here. I have a pair of sunglasses. I have lots of lady products because I just finished my lady time. I have a hand cream, Josie Maron hair, hand, Josie Maron whipped argan oil body butter, ultra hydrating hand cream. I have a Burt's Bees chapstick. I have my keys. I have my Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse wallet, which I absolutely love. This one, I'll show you guys. I just open it up and it's got card slots in there. And then it's got extra room here where I slide my cash or you could put your cash in the back here. There is no zip pockets on the outside, but I think that this is the perfect size wallet for me. And then I have more lady products because you can never be too safe. I've got some paper and then I've got a snack in here. And what else? Is there anything else? Oh, there is more stuff down in here. I have a lip color. This is, for, this is the Revlon Ultra Matte Lip Color. It's a metallic and it's just like a creamy. Let's see if I can show you guys. Not if you're gonna be able to see it. It's just very shimmery and pretty. See that and it's, it smells sweet and delicious. And then I have this little crystal that my daughter gave me. It's supposed to bring good vibes, she tells me. And then in the center pocket, do I have anything? Oh my God, <laughs> I have more tampons. I think this whole bag is just filled with tampons. I have a little, a uh, crystal thing that my daughter made for me again to bring me good vibes. I have a bobby pin and anything else, gum wrapper, and then just some cards back here in a little slip pocket. So now that my purse is empty, let me show you what it looks like. So you have a bigger pocket here, you have a zip pocket here, a smaller pocket here, um, but it looks a lot smaller than it actually is so when you look at it you can barely even tell it's a pocket but when you go in there it is a a bigger pocket down below i'm not sure why it looks so much smaller than it actually is keep in mind if you fill this back pocket all the way up you won't be able to fit anything back here and i do have my phone case my phone case back here at the moment and then more paper so that is everything that fits or that I put in my bag. You can fit different items, especially if you don't have, let's see, this many tampons. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. I just shove them in my purse and then go to work. So I didn't realize I had that many in there. But let me quickly fill this back up and then we will go over pros and cons. Put everything back in this bag and I just wanna go over pros and cons for you. Spoiler alert, I have a lot more pros than I do cons, but my cons are some big cons. So pros, back pocket, love it. I love that I could slip my phone in and out of it. I use it all the time um, as a phone pocket. My other, my pochette Matisse, I don't usually use my back pocket as a phone pocket, so I don't know what the difference is, but I love to use this one as a phone pocket. I love the top handle option, especially if I'm dressed up. I love to wear this just top handle and take the strap off or let my strap dangle down below. The magnetic closure is very, very strong, which I think is a pro. It fits just enough, not a ton, but it does fit enough. It fits all of my essentials. The leather quality is holding up beautifully. Look at it. So, so pretty. There's no wear and tear on the corners. All right, now let's talk about cons. 
Of course, the price. The price is $2,490 now. I think I paid $2,400 even, so it hasn't gone up drastically, not just $90 over the last year, which I know just $90, come on, Melissa, $90 is a lot of money. But compared to Chanel and some other brands, I don't feel like it has increased very much over the last year since I have purchased it. And then another con for me is the metal on here. The metal on this is, and I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, it is aging faster than the metal on my chain. As I mentioned about the little, you know, the metal on the chain rubbing against each other, it's definitely doing that on here as well. And it's doing it a little bit more than on the chain. Again, you have to search for it. So it's not like it's something that's super prominent. And then the metal right here on the YSL, I don't think it's wear, wear and tear. I think it's just getting dirty. So like on these, as you can see here, you, there's like loops, you know, from the letters intertwining, it collects dirt in there. So what I do is I will get a cotton swab, or not cotton swab, uh, um, what are they called? A Q-tip and then kind of try to clean it out, but it doesn't clean it out perfectly. Again, who's going to notice that? Only you. <laughs> Nobody else is going to notice that about your bag. And then one other con, which is, this is a big con. So wear and tear on this back pocket here. It's going to be hard to show. I will try to show you guys on camera, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Let's see. So on, I'm a little restricted with this top, guys. Woo. It's like too tight. Ooh. Too tight on my boobs. There goes the button. And uh, yeah, so I'm a little restricted with this top. Sorry about this, guys. But anyway, um, from me sliding my phone in and out, the leather, I will try to pop up photos for you guys. It has a lot of wear and tear on the inside and a tiny bit right here on the edge, but mostly on the inside. So nobody's going to see that, but man, when I noticed that, it made me want to stop putting my phone back here. And if I can't put my phone back here, guys, it doesn't really sit comfortably inside of my purse. So if I have all my essentials in there, let's see if it will even fit at all. So it does fit, but you have to kind of maneuver things around to make it fit. That's a big con for me. I need that back pocket for my phone to fit and for everything to fit in here comfortably. And the fact that it is having so much wear and tear really, really makes me nervous. Okay, so one other spot that I am noticing wear and tear, and I don't even know if it's wear and tear or the fact that the leather, because obviously leather is not this color naturally. It must have been dyed. I don't know how that process works. But underneath, of the YSL, if I push right here under, let's see if you guys can even see that. If, you, if I push right here, there is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the color's missing. And I don't know, again, if that's just the dye that didn't get dyed right there or what's going on. Again, this is only something that you would notice if you are searching for problems with your bag. Otherwise, if you're just looking at this bag, from a naked eye, it looks absolutely perfect. Even if you are looking for wear and tear, like you're just looking, it looks perfect. You have to really, really, really inspect it in order to find those wear and tear options, or not options, those wear and tear spots. And then one other thing I wanna mention for wear and tear is this guy right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a thread. Let's see, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on. I can't tell if you guys can see that or not. But there is a thread right here that is poking out and that really bothers me. I don't want to cut it because I'm nervous about it. Um, I don't know, coming undone or, or me messing it up somehow. But it's just a tiny little thread that's sticking out. But for a $2,490 bag, there should be no thread sticking out. Am I right? I feel like I'm right about this one. Let me know if you guys hear me down below. Okay, so now that we have gone over wear and tear, lastly, I wanna go over whether or not I would recommend this bag. 
My answer is yes, I would recommend this bag. I love this bag. As far as looks, just based off looks, it is my favorite bag. I think it is the most beautiful bag out there. I love this more than any Chanel bag, any Gucci bag, any Y, or not YSL, this is YSL. This is my favorite bag as far as style goes. I don't have any complaint with the way it looks. It is so, so beautiful. Now, I will say, even though I do recommend this and I do recommend this size, if you carry a little bit more, size up to the large one. It's just as beautiful. It's just larger and fits more. It has all of the same detailing. The only thing is the strap cannot be cross body. It could only be long shoulder or top handle. That to me is not a big deal. I still love the bag and I do want to add the larger one to my collection. I don't usually like to do doubles, but with this bag and how much I love it, I feel like it would be worth it to go up a size, but I'm worried if I go up a size and get the bigger one because it is so practical, will I ever use this one? So that makes me a little nervous. I guess I could, if I stopped using this one, I could sell this one and then it would justify me buying the bigger one. But I love it, I don't wanna sell it. Anyway guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this bag. If you own it, please, please, please comment down below and let us know whether you would recommend it. It will help out other, other subscribers and other people as well to determine whether or not they wanna pick up this bag. I am gonna quickly show you guys a few photos of me wearing this bag. So if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned. But until next time, bye guys.